Andy Schrock posted a video yesterday urging you guys to sign a petition to help save Love Park. And I think a lot of you guys just signed it to try to win his little contest, which is cool. But I, I want to take it a step farther and explain to you why it's so important that not only do you sign the petition, but you share the petition. Because it, it means a lot to skateboarding. And uh, I'm going to tell you why. Edmund Bacon, who, fun fact, happens to be Kevin Bacon, the actor's father, uh, was a post-war city planner in Philadelphia. He pretty much helped to rebuild most of Philadelphia, and he designed Love Park. He loved Love Park. And uh, his, his name's pretty important, so try to remember. In the early 90s, guys like Josh Kalis, Ricky Oyola, Stevie Williams, Anthony Papalardo helped to cement Love Park's base as, as skateboarding's mecca, despite being on the East Coast, while the skateboarding epicenter has always been in California. And that's kind of a massive undertaking. They represented Love Park in Philadelphia so hard that they were able to put the East Coast essentially on the map. It's kind of important to know that skateboarding has actually been banned in Love Park since 1994. It didn't stop much of anything because it wasn't really strictly enforced until after the renovations in 2002, which is interesting because in 2001 the X Games came to town and brought in 40 to 50 million dollars for the city, just through hotel rooms and people eating and, and tourism in general. Now because of the renovations in 2002, they didn't do quite as well. The, the, the fact that they were trying to shut down Love Park kind of overshadowed the whole vibe of the X Games and it, it ruined it for them. They didn't make nearly as much money. After the 2002 renovation and the attempt to prevent skateboarding and preserve the park for I guess homeless people because that's about all that's there besides skateboarders, uh, the, the city really started to crack down on security. They, they had 24-hour police watch and, and, and things like that. And uh, in October of 2002, Edmund Bacon returned to the park and actually skateboarded at the age of 92 in total defiance of the city's ban on skateboarding. And he said something to the effect of, and I'm going to post the video in the description because it actually, it, it like, it chokes me up a little bit because I love, love Park. He said something to the effect of, oh God, thank you, thank you, thank you. My whole damn life has been worth it just for this moment. And that's pretty amazing that a 92-year-old man that isn't a skateboarder, obviously, would think that his entire life's work was worth it simply because he created a space where skateboarders could express themselves freely. And he felt so passionately about protecting it and allowing skateboarders to to skateboard that he was willing to risk being fined or arrested and more importantly show his defiance for the city's decision because he felt it was his park. He designed it. So it held a special place in his heart and he wanted it to be used as he thought it could, should be used. And as a person that pretty much built or rebuilt Philadelphia, I can kind of see where he's coming from. And as a skateboarder, I can definitely see where he's coming from. Around the same time, Philadelphia Weekly did a, a survey, and they found that 29 out of 40 Philadelphia residents didn't mind skateboarding in Love Park. It was the city that was trying to change Love Park, not the citizens. After a year of political bickering on June 1st of 2004, DC stepped in and offered the city $1 million to lift the ban on skateboarding in Love Park. They also offered $100,000 every year for the next 10 years to help to pay for the damages caused by skateboarding to Love Park. The city denied their offer. With skateboarders being the rebels they are, they, they clearly didn't allow this. Continued skating despite getting kicked out, and on June 21st, 2005, Go Skateboarding Day, 2,000 plus skateboarders ascended on Love Park and skated it for an entire day with relatively little hassle because there's not much you can do to stop 2,000 skateboarders from skateboarding. There's just not. So because I wholeheartedly agree with what Andy Schrock did by getting you guys to sign that petition, I think we need to take it a step further. I think we need to promote this a little bit further and show the world just how powerful skateboarders can be. We need to promote this, this petition as much as we possibly can, share these videos, get the word out there about what Love Park means to skateboarding, and prevent the city of Philadelphia from shutting it down. Because it means too much to us to allow that to happen. There's too much skateboarding history that's happened there. And if you don't believe me, there's plenty of videos on YouTube to, that you can go check out and document it. I've seen so many on YouTube just this week alone. It's everywhere. And we can't let it be shut down. We're better than that. So rally together, share the petition, share the videos, get the word out, and let's save Love Park. Again.